Hey, what is up you guys? My name is Firefox, I make Roblox videos, and today's Roblox video is a question that I've been asking myself a lot lately. What will Roblox be like in five years? To answer that question, let's take a look back at Roblox's history. The game started out as a simple site heavily influenced by LEGO, and if you tell me it wasn't then screw you, where kids could pretty much build simple things like houses and spaceships and volcanoes, and the game was really kind of a big sandbox that you couldn't do much of it with. That didn't make any sense. You couldn't do a lot in it, pretty much. However, somewhere in the years of 2011 and 2013, Roblox admins noticed a severe problem with Roblox. It was too simple. They knew that if they didn't evolve Roblox enough to the point where older generations will play it in the future, and if people didn't start taking the site and the games on, on the site seriously, that ultimately, the site would stop growing in the future and probably not be here in 10 years. So the admins thought to themselves, how do we make it so older players will want to play and how do we make the replay value through the roof? And thus, ever since then, Roblox has been adding seriously cool and amazing things to the game. They've added particle effects, they've added dynamic lighting, they've added a more mature looking UI, they've even streamlined the site's layout so that it's not as childish. They've made it so you can, you know, you can make money off of DevX. Like, it's, it's amazing. So, yeah, now, just as Roblox wanted, more mature people are playing Roblox and they're even making games that are so good that they're making like $10,000 a month off of them. I mean, if you're an older player like myself, think back to when you first joined. Did you ever think that back then people could be making $10,000 a month off of their games on Roblox? Crap, guys, like, the biggest game whenever I first joined was Resident Evil uh, Built to Survive by Servano. That game could not make $10,000 a month. But now we have such incredible games like Apocalypse Rising and... Uh, I dare say Taymaster's murder thing. To be honest, I've never played it, but people say it's good, so I'll go with the bandwagon. So now that I've brought all of that up, clearly it's definite that Roblox is aiming to make the game more mature and awesome and kind of like a cooler version of Steam where the games are all user-made and free, right? Now, with all that being in mind, what will Roblox look like in the year 2020? Well... Look at it this way. Roblox is kind of like YouTube. Both of these sites started out as a place where users could create content as a fun hobby. But, down the line, YouTube was bought out by Google and Google made it so people making videos on YouTube could make money off their videos. Now, YouTube supplies hundreds of thousands of people with full-time jobs just by making videos. I can almost, as clear as freaking day, see the same thing happen happening in Roblox. Like, in fact, it's kind of already happening now. I don't think Roblox will be bought out by another bigger company, but I can clearly see the intention to make Roblox sort of like a better Steam client. You know, the admins have made it so people can earn like, what, is the cap $10,000 a month now or is it like $50,000? I don't know, I kind of lost track in uh, early 2015. But, the fact that they can do that is awesome, it's, it's just, it's evidence what Roblox is trying to accomplish. Like, if you're talented enough, you can go, you can say, Oh, I am such a good game dev, but I can't make a game on Steam because I need greenlit and I need all that stuff. But I can go on Roblox and potentially make more money than I would on Steam. I can make Roblox my job. I don't know, man. I think it's clear that five years from now, Roblox will be a massive game hosting client similar to Steam, but all the games on Roblox are user made and free to play. And, you know, the admins have got everything set up. They've got the unique economy system where game developers can convert their Robux into, uh, into real life currency. They've got the more serious users who supply people who want to play games uh, with pretty solid games. And they've just, they've got so much potential to work with and to extend Roblox into places not yet reached. And if that doesn't blow your mind, then dude, what the heck? I don't know, do you agree with me, do you not? Tell me in the comments below, you know, yell at me if you think I'm wrong. But I think that's possible, I think it's definitely a maybe could happen. Anywho, before I end this video, I just wanted to say check out the game I was featuring in this video, it's pretty rockin'. 
And also, I have a form thread in the description of this video where you can tell me what you think Roblox will be like in five years. So, with all that being said, you guys, keep your head high, and as always, have a lovely day. Oh, and also, uh, before I go, last time I made a video, I asked you guys how I, or I asked you guys how to have a lovely day. You know, give me some uh, ideas on how to have a lovely day. And I picked some of the best comments I could find, so here you go. Alright guys, with that being said, I gotta go. Have a lovely day.